Well, this is episode two in our series of taking apart a Briggs and Stratton engine and rebuilding it. Uh, there aren't a lot of parts on these small engines, so it's going to go very quickly for us. The first thing that I'm going to remove is the blower housing. And there's three bolts on it that are three eighths. And one in the front and two in the back. And if you think you're going to have any trouble at all remembering where things go, you might want to take out your cell phone camera and uh, photograph everything as you're doing it, or refer back to this, this series. <clears throat> now, a lot of people put their bolts back into the holes that they came out of or they'll put the parts into a Ziploc bag and label it, or a Dixie cup. You just want to keep everything organized. And I'm going to put it to the side. Next, we're going to remove the air filter, and that's just a flathead screwdriver. Simple enough. And I'm going to remove the muffler and just turn it toward you and it should come out. Now I loosened that up because it was a little bit tight, but it just spins right out like that. See how fast this goes? Next thing I'm probably going to remove is the spark plug. Next, we're going to be removing the gas tank and the carburetor. And there's only two bolts holding that on, one here and one here. This is a 3 8 inch bolt. We just remove it. And this bolt here is a half inch bolt. And there's a little hose right here and a hose right here. And it comes apart just like that. Now our linkage, you might want to take a photograph of this linkage up here. And the gas tank and the carburetor will come off in one piece. I'm going to pour this fuel into an old uh, gas can that I just use for old gas that I'll use maybe to uh, clean parts off later. Next we're going to remove the weather vane here and the magneto and that's with two quarter inch bolts right here. And again, we have to disconnect our governor springs. Now over here, if you remember that brake cable that I was telling you about, what it does is it shorts out, this is a ground that shorts out your magneto. So we just disconnect it right here. And there's your magneto. This is a carburetor tube, 
and we're going to remove that next and it's two quarter inch bolts. Just like that. Make sure we don't lose this O-ring and this other washer on the outside. That makes the air seal when it goes into the carburetor. Next we're going to remove the brake assembly and that's 15 16 and there's two bolts holding that on, one here and one here. And there we go. And we just released the uh, grounding wire and it comes off just like that. If you would, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and share it with people if you would. Let's get those numbers going to the million. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much.